Well, Laura, as you can see, Vice President Pence is standing here on the tarmac outside of Air Force Two. It actually touched down about 25 minutes ago, and he is just now deplaning. Now, I want you to just take a look. There are a number of dignitaries out here meeting the vice president, who will be leaving RDU shortly to head over to Thales Academy in Apex. He's going to be taking a tour of that school. It is one of the few in the state that is already in session, and they are touting how they are doing that safely, and the vice president really wants to get a look before heading over to RTP. He's giving the crowd a wave here now before stepping into the motorcade. Now, that motorcade, again, will be heading to Thales Academy before heading out to RTP for a roundtable at NC Biotech. That is a company that is working on potential COVID-19 vaccines. And he also wants to discuss Operation Warp Speed with them. That has been the administration's push to find a COVID-19 vaccine. Of course, as Laura mentioned earlier, this motorcade will be heading down to Apex and then back to RTP. So there will be a number of road closures in the area. So if you're headed out this way, make sure you give yourself plenty of time because, again, the vice presidential motorcade, they will shut down the roads for that. We actually were even kicked out of the parking lot at Thales Academy this morning simply so the Secret Service could do a bomb sweep. So safety is the top priority out here right now. And again, the motorcade is preparing to depart. Harrison, if you don't mind just panning over here to our right, so you can just get a look at how big this motorcade is. There's a large number of support staff and other dignitaries that are following, and they are getting ready to take off now. And if you want to take a look over here, you can see, again, the car carrying Vice President Mike Pence getting set to depart RDU Airport. Reporting live out at RDU, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News. Yeah.